Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you guys are here today. We're gonna to be doing things a little bit different, but yet the same. You know me, if you've watched any of my videos, I love me a good full face of makeup, a whole look. But sometimes, sometimes we're on a budget and we can't buy all of the products that we really wanna buy because of how much some things cost. In fact, today we're gonna to be using half of the more expensive name brand and drugstore products. And what I'm going to show you guys is you can do a full face routine, but you don't have to have all of the products to pull it off and no one else is going to know. So you can take certain makeup products and they can not only do double, triple, but quadruple duty when it comes to purposes on your makeup look. So you want to know how that happens? Keep watching. Okay. The first step that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Huda Beauty Nymph right here and I'm gonna use this as a primer. If you guys haven't seen my Insta story, then you know what I'm talking about. I'm just gonna take a little tiny dot, I don't know if you guys can see that, and I'm just gonna put it on all the different points of my face. And then just work it in with a really tight, dense brush. This may look really silly right now, but it's gonna make more sense. This not only gives you, like if you're wanting to look more tanned, it also gives you a glow underneath your foundation. You don't need to use a lot. A little goes a long way, just the tiniest little dot. So the next step is going to be to put on the foundation. So let's do that real quick. I've got my Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation. I'm using the color Macchiato and I am going to do, like if you've seen in my full face video before, is mix these two. I've got my Lancome Tint Edul, and this is in the color 320 Warm Bisque. I'm gonna mix these up, and then we're gonna start applying. I'm gonna take my Sonia Kushuk, I believe that's how you say it, makeup sponge, and we're gonna start applying the foundation. Okay, now that I have blended all the foundation in over the Huda Beauty Nymph, I'm now gonna use my Jouer Cosmetics High Essential Full Coverage Concealer. Now remember, we're just laying the foundation for the other makeup that we're gonna be putting on. You can use whatever concealer or foundation that you have. This is just to show you guys, you know, how to apply and do a full face look, but we're gonna be doing it with less makeup, obviously, today. So go ahead and make sure you get the concealer and all the points that you wanna highlight. For me, it's all in the middle of the face and under the eyes, we wanna keep it bright. And once we've applied that, we're just going to blend it in. Okay, since everything today is going to kind of do double duty, we're gonna do the same thing with the concealer. Instead of using my uh, normal eyeshadow base for my eyelids, I'm just going to go ahead and take a little bit of the concealer and I'm gonna put it on my eyelids. So that way that the colors that we use on the eyes are gonna show up more vibrant. They're gonna stick a little bit better. They won't be like shifting and moving because they will have a foundation attached to on the eyelid. Blend that in really good. So our concealer is doing double duty today. Not only is it con concealing on the rest of the face, but it's also doubling as eyeshadow base today. Okay, the next step, and today I'm trying to use more um, reasonably priced products. So we're gonna be doing like half drugstore, half of the name brand products that are more expensive. Of course, the foundation and the concealer that I used was a little bit more on the pricey side. So with the powder, we're gonna go more reasonable. If you guys have watched any of my videos, then you know I really do like the Maybelline Fit Me powder. I don't always use it. I go back and forth between this one and the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter powders. So I've got the color Fair, and I'm gonna be, everywhere where I put concealer to highlight, that's where I'm gonna be powdering with this color. Thank you. 
Okay, now that I have powdered with the light color on all the high points, highlighted points of my face, now I'm gonna go in, and since I've been tanning, because it's summertime, I moved from the color number 25, which is like medium, just medium 25. I'm now on medium deep number 30 on the Fit Me powder, so I'm just gonna powder the rest of my face with this color. Okay, so this is the fun part. Normally, this is my Sephora highlight and contour palette that today we're gonna to be using it to contour, but this is also gonna double as our eyeshadow. And I'm gonna show you that this is so cool because a lot of people think, well, I can't use what I'm using on the rest of my face, I can't use it on my eyes, but you most certainly can. And I'm gonna show you this very simple look today can be pulled off just with a little hint of color with some other things but today this is gonna double as contour and eyeshadow. So let's get started. We're gonna go in with this medium tone right here to contour the cheeks, the nose, around the mouth, and the jaw. Okay, now to use, now that we've contoured that, we're gonna take our flat brush and we're gonna go on with this kind of like yellow toned highlight. This is gonna go on the eyelid. We're also gonna put it right under the eyebrow in kind of the inner teared up area. Now I'm gonna go in with the lighter more warm tone it would be as a contour. I'm gonna use this in the mid crease to inner crease as kind of my neutral base tone. I'm gonna blend it all the way up because the way that my eyes are set all the way up to the inner part of the brow right here. I'm just gonna kind of blend it actually into the brow. Can you see how that's already set for our base? So then the last step very simply, we're just gonna go in with the darkest tone right here for contour, right on the outer V of the eye. And we're gonna blend, blend, blend. <clears throat> I'm gonna go in more with a blending and like fluffy brush to kind of blend the edges. So it's not a sharp, Kind of just lightly diffused on the edges here. It's a nice fade. I'm gonna go off camera, do the other eye, and then I'll come back and show you how we can finish that up. Okay, now we're just gonna simply take one of those colors, the lightest color that we did right here, the more warm toned, and we're gonna drag it just partially, almost halfway underneath the eye because we are gonna be using a colored eyeliner today. I wanna to keep it light, not too dark. I mean, it is a neutral color. There are some dark browns in there, but we don't, want to, we don't want it to be too dark. Kind of a medium tone, a medium level. Right there, we got that. Okay, the next step is we're gonna take the Stila Turquoise Eyeliner and we're going to do it on the inner part of the lid, the lower lid here. Because it's a bright color, it kind of like opens up the eye and makes it look bigger once you put it on the inside. But we're also gonna drag it all the way across on the lower part of the lid, right over the top of that medium brown tone. 
I'm gonna put most of the focus here on the inner part. It's gonna be really bright because we don't have any eyeshadow there. Okay, the next step is that I'm going to take my NYX matte liquid liner. Yeah, matte, yes. It dries matte, not shiny. And I'm just gonna do me a simple curve around the, sh the shape of my eye. We're gonna keep it simple. We don't have to go on with a full wing unless you want to. That's up to you. Just depends on your preference. You can actually skip this part. If you don't really want eyeliner and just focus more on your lashes, you can either do the mascara or you can put on a pair of falsies and there be less color on the lid. But for me today, this is just the way I roll people. It's always optional. So I just follow the regular shape of my eye. Okay, we've got the eyeliner taken care of. The next step is to pop some mascara. I am still using the L'Oreal Voluminous, the original. I'm gonna put some on my bottom and top. And like I said, you can either stop at this point with the eyes just with mascara if you don't like to use false lashes or you can keep going and do like I do and just pop a pair on. Okay, from there we're gonna go ahead and do the eyebrows and I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder in the color Blonde with the number 14 brush. That bit, Anastasia actually makes I'm gonna brush my brow hairs down. And then of course, like if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that I'm going to create a line right above all the hairs. This way you're giving yourself a brow lift. Like I have really inset eyes. And so anything that I can do to create a higher brow is gonna kind of open up and make it seem like I have more space between the eye and the eyebrow because my eyes are more inset. It has a deeper crease. I have a very deep crease. And to be honest with you, my eyes have always pretty much been that way. Like, it wasn't something that just like changed over the years. It's just basically been that way. It's just the shape of my eyes. Now I'm gonna brush the hairs up over the top where I filled it in. And now I'm going to create a line on the very bottom edge of all of where my brown hairs are and brush it up. Isn't that amazing? Look at that. Look how low my eye looks without it and how much more lifted it looks with it. You want to give yourself an eye lift? Do your brows. All right, then I'm going to go over the top of this with the Anastasia Dip Brow Gel to kind of set the hairs in place so they're not shifting and moving around and keeps the shape of the brow. This will help fill in any other spots where maybe the powder didn't fill it in and it, and it has some patchiness. This is pigmented. Now at this point with the brows, you can either stop, but if you are a makeup geek <laughs> and you really like everything to be like perfection, you're not like, okay, I just wanna keep it simple. This is where you take your flat concealer brush and you take a little bit of concealer and you go along the edge and you sharpen up the bottom edge of your eyebrow. If that doesn't bother you, you're not worried about it, you don't wanna have a really sharp brow, then at this point, this is where you stop with your brows. But I'm just saying, if that's what you wanna do. And the next step, okay, now that the brows are done, I'm gonna show you a really simple trick. Maybe you say, well, I don't really have enough to buy the blush, but I want the lipstick. You have to decide what it is that you like most when you're going makeup shopping. If you're on the budget, you say, okay, well, if I get blush, I can't use blush on my lips too, but you can buy lipstick and use lipstick 
as your blush. So today, we're gonna take this like coral, this is Coral Crushes by Skin Cosmetics, and just barely lightly touch it there, and I'm going to just kind of lightly start on the apples of my cheeks. And just tap a little bit on at a time. That's the important thing, just do a little at a time. You can always add more if you need to, but if you put too much, well then you're in trouble. Because it's a lot harder to get it off. So now our lipstick can not only double as lipstick, but it can double as a blush. And it's very easy to do that. I mean, you just lightly touch it. The next step is, you know, maybe you want to highlight, you want a bronze, because notice I didn't do a bronze yet. Uh, Fenty Beauty has come out with what they call these shimmer match sticks. And honestly, this can be used as like a shimmery bronzer, like highlight. But I thought to myself, this would make a great eyeshadow. This would make a great lipstick. So today, we're gonna use this as kind of like a highlight bronze. And I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm gonna to touch it onto my finger. I'm gonna rub it on there. And then I'm gonna lightly press it in where I want a bit of shimmer. Now this isn't like a beaming bright highlight. We're talking about if you want something that's like subtle, you just want a light little shimmer on your cheek so that it looks sun kissed. This works great. You start off with a little bit. If you wanna keep adding more, you can do that. This that I have is actually the sample size. It comes with a bronzing powder. This is the bronzing powder that it comes with. So I'll be talking about that one time in my stories, but today we're just gonna be using it as a highlight and since we already use our contour powder as our eyeshadow, I'm actually going to use this as a lipstick. But before I put this on, I wanna go ahead and line my lips with my favorite all-time lip liner, that is the MAC Strip Down because it's like the perfect like nude lip liner. because It's basically like the color of the lip. So we'll do that first and then we're gonna apply this shimmer stick as our bronzy lipstick today. Remember, pencil lightly right outside the edges of the lips if you want it to appear bigger and more pouty. Look at that, what difference does that make? I'm telling you. And they're gonna pencil right along the edges of the lower lip as well. Okay, now that we've set the perimeters for the lips, we're gonna go back in with the matchstick that we used as a highlight, and we're actually just going to lightly press it onto the lips. And it almost like literally matches the lip liner perfectly. Look at that, it's a nice shimmer, a shimmer. And like I said before, if I did a different eyeshadow look, I could just simply take this and smooth it on the eyelid and this would make a great shimmery color as far as eyeshadow. So this one can actually do triple, quadruple duty because it can be like bronzer, highlighter, lipstick, and eyeshadow. So hey, 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 more bang for your buck. All right, for those of you who don't care anything about using fake lashes, this is the point where I step off camera and I put them on. Okay, I'm back. For those of you who do care and you do like to wear false lashes, I am still wearing Coco Lashes Queen Bee. That's the one I have, it's my favorite one. I did order some new ones to try, so we'll be looking for those. And I am now using the Tarte Tartiest uh, eyelash glue, but in the clear, because I've been using a lot of colored liners and stuff like that. I just find that it works a little bit better. If you're just mainly gonna stick to black eyeliner, then stick to the black color that they have, but this one also works just as great, except it's clear. So you see guys, we did a full face routine here with less products. Amazing! All right, now that you guys have seen, we've been able to pull off a full face makeup look without all of the products, go dig in your makeup bag, dig in your makeup drawer. Start thinking of ways that you can use the different products for different things. Think outside the box. 
It can be simple, it can be beautiful, and you don't have to spend a ton of money to look like a million bucks. If you haven't already, go follow me on Instagram and Facebook at BonnieAllen.Fashion. We not only talk about beauty products, hair products, but we really dive in and do some fashion stuff that is like my favorite thing of all time. If you think this video really helped you, give it a thumbs up. Leave me some comments down below, some other things that you guys would like to see. I'm always open to trying new things, and I want you all to remember that beauty can be at any age.